good morning children in the last class you had learned subtraction and its properties also how to subtract by counting backward did you all practice it children so today we are going to learn how to subtract in rows how to subtract in rows suppose 76 minus 35 Row that means horizontally in a sleeping manner. To subtract in rows, first we will write the places above the numbers. Seventy-six, two digit. We will write here two places. O T. Thirty-five, also two digits. We will write again two places. O T. Then. Write O T in the answers place. First, subtract the ones. Once it is six. Once it is five. Six minus five. So take out six, and from that you take away five. How many are left? One. So write one in the place of ones. Tens place. Seven minus three, so we take out seven fingers, and from that we take away three. One, two, three. How many are left? Four. So we write four in the place of tens. So the difference is forty-one. Is it clear? Now look at another example. One hundred sixty-five. Minus thirty. I told you first. You write places above the numbers. One hundred sixty-five, a three-digit number. So we write here three places. O T H. Thirty, two-digit number. So we write here two places. O T. Once it is five, once it is zero. Also write O T H in the answers place first. Now see the ones place five, ones place zero, five minus zero. You have learnt when we subtract zero, we get the same number. So five minus zero, five. Tens six, tens three. So six minus three. One, two, three. What is left? Three. So in the tens place, it is three. Hundreds, it is one. Here hundreds, there is no number. So one minus no number is one in the hundreds place. So the difference is one hundred thirty-five. Is it clear how to subtract in rows? Now let us learn how to subtract in columns. Columns that is vertically in a standing manner. Suppose we have to subtract sixty-eight from ninety-six. Sixty-eight from ninety-six. First, write places above the numbers. Sixty-eight, two places O T. Ninety-six, two places O T. Now O T in the answers place. Always in subtraction, write the bigger number first. Sixty-eight from ninety-six. The bigger number is ninety-six. So first we write ninety-six. Below that we write sixty-eight, and then we subtract. Now, remember, children, columns you have to arrange in a standing manner. Arrange vertically. Once six, once eight, six minus eight. From six, can we take away eight? No. So we have to borrow. When you don't take your pencil to the school. You borrow from your friend. You take from your friend. So we will borrow from the friend of six is nine. 
9 tenths. We take 1 ten, it becomes here 16. 1 ten and 6, 16. This 9 is giving 1. 9 has given 1, so 9 becomes 8. Now it is 16 minus 8. We don't have 16 fingers to take out. So we will subtract by counting backward. You have learned how to subtract by counting backward. 16 minus 8, we take out 8 fingers. And count backward 16. What is at the back of 16? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So it is 8 in the place of 1's. Tens place 8 minus 6. 8. So we can easily take out 8 fingers. And from there we will take away 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is left? 2. So it is 2 in the place of tens. The difference is 28. Difference means answer of subtraction is 28. Now let us see another example. Forty-seven from one hundred eighty-two. I told you first write O T H above the number. Two digits, forty-seven, two places O T. One hundred eighty-two, three digits, three places O T H. Now write O T H in the answers place. In subtraction, always remember bigger number first. 47, 182. The bigger number is 182. So 1 in the hundreds place, 8 tens. 8 in the tens place, 2 ones, 2 in the ones place. Below that, 47. 47. Is it correct? Don't make this mistake. This is not correct. 47 is 4 tenths. So write 4 in the place of tenths. 7 ones. 7 in the place of ones. Give subtraction sign. And always begin from the place of ones. 2 minus 7. From 2. Can you take out 7? No. So you will borrow. You will take 1 from the friend. 8 will give 1 here. 1, 10. It becomes 12. 8 has given 1. So 8 becomes 7. Now, 12 minus 7. Can we take out? Do you have 12 fingers? No. So you will subtract by counting back backward. Take out 7 fingers. Count backward 12. Back of 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So it is 5 in the place of 1's. 10's place it is 7. 7 fingers we will take out. From that take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. What is left? 3. So 3 in the place of 10's. Hundreds place it is 1. 1, there is no other number to subtract. 1 minus no number it is 1. So the difference is 135. Did you understand how to subtract in columns? So children, you will practice subtraction in rows and columns well. Now children, let's learn some word problems on addition and subtraction. To understand the word problem, read the question very carefully. See what is given in the question and also understand which operation you have to do. The question is asking you to add or it is asking you to subtract. Some addition words are plus, total, 
more than all together and some for example we say 5 plus 3 so it is 8 total of 5 and 3 so again 8 5 more than 3 is equal to 8 5 and 3 all together again it is 8 and sum of 5 and 3 is also 8 some subtraction words are minus less than left and difference for example when we say 5 minus 3 it is 2 3 less than 5 is also 2 3 taken away from 5 how many left it is 2 and the difference of 5 and 3 is also 2 now children you will solve some word problems given in your book